read an extract from my novel Three Hours, uh, starting at the very beginning. So it's chapter one, part one, 9.16 a.m. A moment of stillness, as if time itself is waiting, can no longer be measured. Then the subtle press of a fingertip, all skin against cool metal, starts it beating again, and the bullet moves faster than sound. It smashes the glass case on the wall by the headmaster's head, which displays medals for gallantry, awarded in the last World War to boys barely out of the sixth form. Their medals turn into shrapnel, hitting the headmaster's soft brown hair, breaking the arm of his glasses, piercing through the bone that protects the part of him that thinks, loves, dreams and fears, as if pieces of metal are travelling through the who of him and the why of him. But he is still able to think, because it's he who has thought of those boys, shrapnel made of gallantry, tearing apart any sense he had once had of the benevolent order of things. He's falling backwards, another shot, the corridor a reverberating sound song. Hands are grabbing him and dragging him into the library. Hannah and David are moving him away from the closed library door and pushing him into the recovery position. His six formers have all learnt first aid, compulsory in year 12, but how did they learn to be courageous? Perhaps it was there all this time and he didn't notice it. Medals again, fought fast a hundred times, a thousand. He tries to reassure them that even if it looks bad, he is pretty sure it must look very bad indeed. Inside he's okay, the who of him is still intact, but he can't speak. Inside, instead, sounds are coming out of his mouth that are gasps and grunts and will make them more afraid, so he stops trying to speak. The novel then follows the next three hours. Uh, unlike an American school shooting, this is not a gunman going on the rampage. It's about tension rather than carnage, and above all, it's about the strength of community and the extraordinary courage and love ordinary people can show on what should be an ordinary school morning.